Hey everyone, it's Nate here with Misbehaven. Well, it's summertime and it's hot. We're looking at barely 10 a.m. with 100 degrees, 60% humidity here in West Tennessee. The bees are starting to feel it too. They're drinking down almost more water than I care to give them, and I'm starting to find a few drowned in the swimming pool. That's not good. So today I'm gonna to show you how to build an automatic watering bucket. It'll hold five gallons of water, so you'll have to fill less often. So let's get started. Okay, to get the assembly started, we're gonna start with a five gallon bucket. This one happens to be leak type brand, made in the good old US of A. And also, a leak type threaded lid, also made in the US of A. This is a threaded style lid to be snapped onto a five gallon bucket. There is a neoprene gasket in the mount ring but it sometimes leaks. So we're going to use some silicone caulk today to ensure a good seal. My current bucket has been working well all summer but it does leak just a little bit from the gasket. So this is an improvement on this version. And all we're going to do is snap it down hard. And I'm gonna have to use a little gravity. injection mold pockets left behind. Those are going to serve as little individual water trays. We're going to drill holes into it using a 1 8 inch diameter drill bit. Okay, so the trick with drilling into the bucket, you want a single hole, but you want it down a fair bit. So if your bucket is going to be mounted on a level, say concrete pad or cinder block pad that you've leveled out, you can actually just go ahead and angle the drill bit at about a 45 degree angle and drill your hole. That will end up with a water level in each one of these reservoirs within about an eighth inch from the uh, top edge. But if you're out of plumb by more than an eighth inch over the course of the bucket diameter, the water will start dribbling out of the low side and your bucket will drain prematurely. If you are out of plumb too much, you can go ahead and from the inside of the bucket mark at say the midpoint of where this ring is and then drill from the inside. The danger there is the bees have to hang in to each one of the little reservoirs a lot more and there's more risk of say drowning plus the pockets because other insects are going to get in there. They'll also drown so you'll be cleaning the bucket more often. I prefer to go ahead and drill at a 45. And that is it. I'm going to repeat that for every single one of the pockets. Okay, you just came around to the handle. This pocket, you do not want to drill. It already has a hole for the handle coming out, which means that it will constantly drain. Do not drill either one of these. If you do, you've got to start over. the 
use the other handle, skip it. And that is it. They are all drilled. There will be plastic burrs left behind from the drill bit. You can go ahead and take your pocket knife and clean up those holes inside and out if you choose. Um, otherwise, the burrs should not interfere with the operation of the bucket. Once the silicone dries, we'll fill it. Okay, it's time to fill the bucket. I actually add Morton's natural sea salt to my water bucket based upon some videos I saw from another YouTuber. I'll put the link up here in the corner. He found that the bees were actually attracted to small masses, about a teaspoon per quart. So for a five gallon bucket, that comes into just a little under half a cup. So I'm going to add half a cup and then fill it up. Should note that when you're filling the bucket up, you want to fill it only to about maybe a half inch under where that lip we drilled the holes in are. When you carry the bucket, the water is going to slosh and it is going to come out those holes. Any higher than that, it's just going to run out the holes. No point in filling it any fuller. There we are. Fasten the lid. Let's go give it to the bees. Okay, so I don't have a leveled place near my beehives, and it's a little far from the water source. So I put it here on the corner of the patio around the pool. It's level. I keep it up off of the wood with a few bricks. Don't, uh, a couple things to note. When you first set it down, you are going to find it leaks. What it's doing is it's pulling a vacuum, and the plastic is contracting just a little bit, so it's not a perfect uh, seal the moment you turn it over. But it does stop leaking after a few minutes. You'll usually have a water level around this height in the bucket, and you're ready to go for several days. I find that these don't find it right away. It does take them a while, but uh, once they find it, they do use it quite, rig quite uh, vigorously. Well, that's it for this video. Hope you all found it useful. If you did, please give it a like. If you like the channel and want to see more things like this, please subscribe. Thanks. Have a great day. Iron horse flies.